Hello there, and I would like to talk to you about what the levels of phasing of consciousness is in regards to lucid dreaming, uh, out of body experiences, astral projection, uh, normal dreaming, and beyond. So there's a lot of confusion with uh, people who have dreams and deep dream states, who have very vivid dreams. So let's first start off with the typical dream state. So the typical dream state is a dream environment where perhaps there's subconscious thoughts going on, Perhaps it's things throughout the day which have, have caused this dream or something that's on your mind, either subconsciously or all consciously. So you often have dream experiences, or it's just a way to get away from the stress and strains of your current physical reality. Now, uh, lucid dreaming is being aware that you are dreaming. So you don't always have full control in the dream state. You are basically aware that you are probably dreaming a little bit. Things seem a bit of out of proportion, things don't seem right or make sense and um, the whole environment might seem different. So if you're in your house and you, you know, you're know you walking around and you're in this lucid dream and you know that you're dreaming, but things look a bit different. Um, then there is the out of body state. So uh, you can get deeper in the lucid dreaming state where you basically be in full control of your dreams it's not really an out-of-body experience, it's something that's happening in, in the dream world. So the out-of-body experience is when you're in full control, in full conscious control. You can control anything in your current state of reality, your mood, your thoughts. You can go at will any way that you like. And within there, there's, a, there's an array of different layers of the out-of-body experience. So people typically have experiences that are close by to this physical plane and this physical reality where they're having mutual dreams with people that they know, interactions with dream characters and people that are, you know, doing very similar things to them. Or you can go beyond the body, as in beyond the reality of this physical world, and experience uh, other realities that are beyond the earth plane, or a, a reflection or a, a duplicate of the earth. It is a reality where uh, different dimensions of different thought forms so this lies under the category of people who love sci-fi films, you know, like Star Wars and Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, um, all sorts of things like Valerian and all these other sort of big movies that have been out. People have been thinking about these sort of uh, realities because they're like, oh, I want to be in that movie, I want to be in that reality. And so this sort of dimension starts to solidify subtly, not physically, but in a way where it's a lot of people's thought forms have come together to create this non-physical sort of dimension. And so people often have experiences there, you know, thinking that they are a Jedi, or they are like a hobbit, or they're into some, you know, other sort of sci-fi place, or it could be something completely random. Now, astral projection is, astral means of the stars. So when you project into the stars, it's kind of like you are beyond not beyond your body, but beyond the physical plane itself. You go in all these different layers of, of consciousness, cosmic consciousness, as you call it, the other side, um, an array of things can happen. So this basically covers the different, uh, many different levels of uh, non-physical reality that we can explore. So if you're interested in exploring and researching more about lucid dreaming, out-of-body experiences, and everything else connected, there are also other terms such as traveling clairvoyance, remote viewing. Remote viewing is traveling clairvoyance, basically where you are physically in one place, you are conscious that you are in that place, and you can travel with your mind to see any, any place on earth in physical time, in the future or the past, but you cannot change it. You, you are not a tra time traveler, you are a being which is able to be consciously aware of those times, those dates, and see things. This can't always happen, but sometimes it can happen at will, sometimes and most likely it happens uh, at sort of coincidence. So these are different phasing levels of consciousness you can find with for lucid dreamers, out-of-body explorers and beyond. But these aren't fixed into these categories. These categories are basically just a, an, an analytical sort of logical way that we comprehend these experiences. But some experiences go beyond space and time as such. You can have experience which physically it might be 20 minutes, but in the non-physical it may seem like hours, days, or sometimes months, or beyond that. So, thank you for watching. I hope this has uh, highlighted some uh, knowledge to you, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.